Welcome back, everybody. Today, actually, I've got two things I'm meant to show, but I'm going to do this one first, and the other one I'll. That's it. I'll do that one another time. Anyway, on the actual point. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make fungi form. Farm. Form. So, this one uh, mostly goes to the wood. So, an interesting property of the new mushrooms is, unlike trees, they don't really care about what they're near. <laughs> so, for example, if I was to get like a big bunch of bedrock or something around here, not bedrock, but obsidian, to show it off, and I went to grow a mushroom, it will actually just like, wherever there would be, as obsidian is, it'll just leave it. Like, imagine obsidian wasn't there, then you put the tree here, and then you put the obsidian back, essentially. Or the any blocks in the way, back. The other property is, unlike other trees, they don't actually uh, decay, the leaves. The other thing is, they can all be pushed. <laughs> so, including the wood. Which I've destroyed all of it. Uh, yeah, so also using that mechanic, mm. we can immediately get rid of a lot of unnecessary blocks. Although Neville is actually also useful for another thing, which is hopefully something the next farm will be able to utilise. It's very good in compost. <laughs> That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Majority of the time it will increase the level from what I've seen. Uh, there you go, there's one time it didn't fill it. But it's very good at filling this is. So you could actually reuse it a lot. Like if you were to gather it, you could actually make enough bone meal to actually get more mushrooms and probably a lot towards what you need to grow them. Obviously, yeah, I've got a lot of oatmeal stocked up. So this, this is mostly uh, when I do testing. I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I just sort of try to put a big of it. Uh, I did wonder one issue where I didn't build enough storage on the first one. <laughs> I think I only had three, three chests in total. Just regular chests. Anyway, under the drops of one hour. So one hour, I've got this many walk blocks. So, roughly divide by 7 or roughly 8 would be one my rough estimate. You would get a lot of bone meal back, <laughs> essentially. Don't know an easy way to show it. So that's like, well, so that's roughly be. Actually, no, I don't let me show it. No, no, I don't know what I'm thinking. I've also got one tree line and a couple of even vines. And that's all the funguses it would use in one hour. That's how many are placed, essentially. Under the wood. Three double chests. And plus a little bit. So I think I might have been delayed. I haven't built this part up yet, probably yet. So, you'll see where I've extended it and put walls. They might get a little bit more. The other thing is, you have to remember, these trees can grow very, very high. <laughs> this is 25 blocks high. That's the highest I've seen them. Might go higher, but I'm just kind of here. That and it's gonna be hard to squeeze. I can squeeze one more block in, I'm pretty sure. But after that, no, I can't squeeze any more in. I'll probably also need another DT cannon at that point. It does use two. I'm also using the new redstone blocks, target block, to make redstone go in to this block, be detected. It's very useful. You only need to do a tight turn with redstone, just put a target block in there. Uh, what else? Yeah, you realise the farms. Essentially, it's a 7x7 seven seven with grass. <laughs> it blocks all the where the leaves would normally spawn. The odd couple of vines you see are from this wall. Uh, it can still spawn across here. It can. So, I let it do that freely. Just to get extra blocks, essentially. Walk blocks, and odd vines, and maybe 
No, she's not a stream light. She might all spawn in like here, area. Well, not in that area, really. Spawn towards the top, I think. You know, you're not really going to get any stream lights from this, to be honest. There's not really any spot. I think it's at the very top of the tree. It might sometimes spawn in this line. But yeah, obviously, you see the big piston conveyor belt there. And, uh, yeah. See how short the Bomo is. And that's what I left after an hour. The other one I did, I forgot about storage. It was roughly the same. It was 46. They had there, though. Anyway, how to use farm. Obviously, turn it on. There you go. <laughs> so I was going to say, wait a second. <laughs> yep, I turned both DT cans on. Come in here, out from there. This is where you get your mushrooms. You know, I'm not going to try it with. Uh, Sample. Actually, I can also use vault. One block. That's the thing now, we have to change the blocks out manually. Yep, there we go. Confused me a second, I was able to place it. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> place it, but it doesn't grow. <laughs> As you can see, it pulls it to the side, and I am. Actually, I'm getting fed the crimson fungus into the force in the system. I'm just doing this to show it off the. It does work both. Just need to change the wall block. Into the wall block and the block under here, which is used to. I forget where this is. Yeah, it's a bit crammed here. Okay. Essentially, when you have, like, say, Wolf Island, the tree grows, <laughs> that will turn back to never actually. I've like got block it though. Let's keep the lag spike when I fly. For some reason when I fly it doesn't like it. Yeah, this lever's on just to keep the trap door open. The rest on above in phase of it. Yeah. yeah, obviously, yeah, that pushes it in. And it's already oh, did get one. And sometimes it goes so high. Really high, oh my I told Max. <laughs> Straight to Max. <laughs> yeah, but once it does it this just pushes over and pushes it down. Sorry, it lowers it. Nah. Alright, get into the building. Okay, here's the first layer. It's seventeen by twenty two. See now. Okay, 18 by 70. 18 by uh, 22. <laughs> Take me away a second. That's the first layer. Feel free to pause. I've also put a little line, alternating box, blocks around the side so you can work out exactly where things are. Okay, second layer. Well, as always, this is a collection bay or floor. <laughs> anyway, I see this thread all the items dropped, and then the next step we'll see how the water screams. Just when I had it on, <laughs> I had the end fight. Anyway, so your next one, next level should look like this. Again, Nylium or Hawked. Hawked Nylium. This is Crimson Nylium, yep. I can actually say Nylium then. Nylium, depends which one you want. You do want to change between them, um, just get a piston here. Pull it out and push like that. If we're walked in. Anyway. 
There you go. Okay. Here's the next level. Obviously, the trees are going to be inside of it. So I'm cleaning the machine up out, but. You get. It shows where the tree's going to be. Okay. Okay. Next level. I'm going to show this little bit over here. The spools increasing in height, really. On the other side. Okay, next bit. Also, we now got the little bay face you sit in. Right here. Yep. Next level. So again, walls over there still increasing. And this is the log detection system right here. So once there's log there, signal passes through and it triggers everything. Next level. As you can see, this is the mushroom storage over here. So that's going to go up like two more times for a decent amount of mushroom storage. Roughly a double chest, I'll say. Depending how long you do it for, what if you get double chest at least for an hour? We'll see, there's a bit extra, still extra in that, but yeah. Okay, next level. These pistons are extended by default, when one asks. Is uh they're extended so they take the block space up. Essentially this is the piston head block here. And also it comes off the piston, but it means none of this will spawn in the way here. And yeah. If something spawned there it means we have to push it out of the way, then we're gonna try then push it. Nothing. So it's just, it's always easier to take the spawn up. Nothing is it's it's not wood so no, it ain't the main goal of the farm. Main goal of the farm is just get the wood. Or the stem. Really. Alright, there we go. There we go, next level. You can see mushrooms. So it's now off, it's now can be a bit of a repetition here and a lot of glass. And obviously the walls are continuing. Except some are starting to curve off now. Next level. And the next level. Okay, next level. Now we've got a bit of obsidian going out. Okay, next level. We'll see now we've got a bit of one of the TNT cans again coming together. This is the holding bay. Which is, uh, Bit warm to look up when in action. You just see TNT sort of hanging out around here. Slowly as views going off. Next level. Here's a bit of stone here. Yeah, I've got to expand that. Uh... Anyway, um, sorry, I got, I missed the side bit off. So, there's maybe staffs for the previous level, then there's repeaters here as well. All on max. Four, four, four. Yep. Okay, that's the next level. No items. It's positioned it. Okay, next level. So I am going to make an actual slight change to this. Because TNT cans, they have to be built very certainly. They do. Uh, so gonna be over. Then there's gonna be a slime block here. Well, you're probably gonna see over here. You are. But I'll dive. I'll go through it on each level. Okay. This is this level. There's a bit more is happening now. Ish. That's actually just turn line. Okay. 
Okay, next level will look like this. Go. And I'll say this is the T cannon. Is it separated? Okay, so this is the next level. And for the TNT cannon, essentially it'll be built like this to start with. You then don't put the lever on it. Mine cut will glitch slightly out. You can put it forwards and then put it back. And that's primed essentially, so don't extend it again. Or else it'll duplicate TNT and essentially this will probably not be running unless you use the clock itself. Or power the redstone as well. Yeah. Just don't use it until the machine's done, probably. Be the best idea. Next layer. Obviously, the grass is continuing here. You could use any block, really, but just be careful with certain areas. Trying to look for one. Uh, so, you should be careful with grass. We'll see. Glass will let Weston, like go diagonal. You know, not diagonal, but essentially how slap works. Alright, okay, obviously it's our next TNT cannons here and the continuation of the piston conveyor belt. Next layer. Obviously there's some torch contained here. That's the power of the clock. And this all continues. Next layer. Obviously, you've got to start the TNT cannon. Obviously, make sure to move that up by one. And the same with one slime block. So, essentially, this segment of it, make sure it's built here. But, yeah. Next layer. Obviously, it continues. Obviously, this is where the clock's going to be built. Obviously, this is our half, so obviously, it's got this line block right there, and the bits below it. Maybe on this side, the rest will be on this side. So, it's line block and the sticky piston. I don't have a sticky piston on me right now, I cannot. There you go. It all looks, it will look like that when, it, when you triggers it, but yeah. Just remember to make sure they're separate, otherwise, it will blow up when you place the mine cup. So now, two ticks here. And we got plenty of P ticks. So, yeah. Also, two ticks here. One tick there. Okay, next layer. So, we'll see. Got a bit of, we've got this going on here. But we've also got the clock on this layer. Essentially, all these are four tick, except for the very first one, which is three tick. So this just is a slightly longer clock than what it takes for that. So we don't get two TNT in this chamber. Got two TNT in the chamber. Yeah, it won't be launched. And again, we've got using the target block here. To just put the redstone into it. Straight into it. So this is more compact. Than two jig repeater. Which then goes to both of the machines. Obviously got the delay line for the pistons there, trigger there, delay line down there, and trigger here. Right. It's the mine cut. Oh well. There's, there's maybe a mine cut there. Make sure there's a mine cut in there. I'm not going to place it because I'll update it. And I don't want this blowing up. So yeah. Might actually appear in the next one. Okay, next level. So we've got the redstone line here coming out off the torch now. And then we'll see we have more of the piston conveyor going on over here. Now two tick belief repeater there. And then the blocks going over the clock here, which will go to the power eventually. 
well not power, but the trigger for the entire machine. We'll see there'd be a minecart there. Just don't know why it's not appearing. It's there, but oh well. Okay, next level. So we got the uh, turn on Y here. Going away. Repeat it there just to thin the length of the wire. I'll see the pistons here continue. And this continues here. This is slowly going up. Okay, next level. So you continuation here, continuation there. Listen, uh, and all that, that lights blew up when I used the structure blocks to spawn this in. Okay, that's the next level. Okay, next layer. Didn't blow up this time, good. Um, <laughs> I'll see this continues. Essentially, it's just a bit of a bit repetition here, but got some stabs there. A bit of redstone. I think that was probably the fail safe, just in case something broke over here, so it doesn't destroy all the redstone over there. So if that fail safe does activate, it will cause the blocks to come out here. But that was only for when testing. I am not have it. I didn't happen at all in the hour, so shouldn't happen. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> shouldn't happen, but yeah, next layer. Well. The TNT can expose again. Again, structure blocks. They have a weird way to update things. And a weird way to do water. Anyway, the next layer. So you got the failsafe being built. Sorry, being built here. And the uh, yeah, last piston. Second to the last piston. I can count. Obviously, so I've got the last ones now. It's the West Stone. I think it was last. We'll see. You don't know, let's see. This should be the very top. Yeah. Uh, there's like two more blocks up. Okay. I'll just show off how I've been doing this anyway. Eighty blocks. Hey, there we go. Then we go to the glass. We get some stabs here as well. Okay, now we're uh, increasing the level where the glass is. And then obviously, the fail safe here, which turns everything off. Well, it turns the signal from that coming in, but then also turns the signal on permanently. So, yeah. Actually, if I recall quickly, it's just two some dust there. So, and then obviously the next layer, <laughs> done. That is 31 blocks high, including a few bits of some dust. <laughs> obviously, you can add more storage in this, I cut off from there, because that was really just like SS storage. But yeah, you're probably one bit bigger than this anyway. And you can also add filter in for the vines, the very odd... What was his name? <laughs> Dream light, that's it. I was thinking of glow light for some reason. <laughs> glow stone. Anyway, that's how you build it. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. See you next time. Goodbye.